That's more better. Okay, now I can go ahead and measure my 2x8 from here over to there. Oh, nice. See there? Now in this one here, I could only use inch and a quarter screws because I don't have anything to attach to. Plus with this coming up, these screws are too close to the edge, but that's okay. That's not going anywhere. And what I could do is put a bracket up here, um, you know, one of these kind, the, the strong ones. And I could put it up here and screw it up into there. That's the 4x12 riser and that, that'll help support it. I'm not really worried about it too much. Um, this one I lowered down just a hair so I didn't crack the top of that. Chances are it wasn't going to crack anyway. See, this one's sticking up a little bit. And for right now, I've just got inch and a quarter screws in here. These are two and a two two inch screws because I got through the half inch and then there's a uh, two by six from here over flat going up this way and that's running into that. In fact, I could take a couple of these screws out and put two and a halves in there. These screws are going all the way into the, uh, the wood but they're not sticking out the back. I don't know if sticking out the back makes it any stronger or not. And for right now, I've just got this attached with inch and a, inch and a quarter screws. I could put these two over here and then eventually, um, oh no, no that's good, okay, just inch and a quarter screws on there because I'm not going to put another, another piece on there. I'm actually going to take another one of these and I'm going to put on top of here, I'm going to sandwich it on top of here, put it in here and then I'll have uh, I think another another bracket on there. I'll have to see. I'll have to see if it if it's going to work. Let's see that goes there, and then I'll put another bracket like that, and then I'll put those screws in there, and it'll be kind of like a double, like a double one, and that. I don't really have to do that. I'm not I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that just yet, but I have enough material for that. There's my there's my other two by eight, and I don't have any other place for that two by eight. I specifically got it for here, and I think I'll I think I'll end up putting it up there. It's not gonna hurt. But before I put it up there, I want to bring these stringers on up to the back side of here so that when I bring the 2x6 up, I'll cut it at the right angle, I'll put it up here, and then I can nail it from here, screw it from here down. I, I couldn't very well do that if I put another one on here first, right? So I'm gonna work on that, and those, those are actually gonna come up mighty nice. Uh, let's see if I can't get you situated here see there's the here's the stringer coming up and I'm gonna take a long 2 by 6 like that and put it on the side and with it going up look at that it lines up just about exactly right uh, to to that and then it will have an angled cut and then I can attach it from there. Boom, boom, boom. Because see, you got all this, this weight is now going to be transferred to there from our stringers coming up. And because we got 4x12s there, I'm not really too concerned about it, but just for kicks, I'm going to put another 2x8 here going across, coming over because I can. Hey, there's no, no, no one here to tell me I can't do it. Okay, so that's, that's my next step. I'm gonna have to put some two by sixes in here and I'll have to decide how far down 
to put them. Initially, I was going to go all the way down, but I don't necessarily have to go all the way down. I could go down. If this is t if this is two feet here, um, in fact, let's let's see what it is. See, that's 20 inches, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this back uh, straight down in there. So it's gonna be about about 24 inches. So feasibly. Um, if that's 24, that means I got to go at least four feet from there down, and more than likely I'll go, I'll go further than that. I'll probably go six feet. I'll probably go six feet, something like that, and I'll run that on the side, and then I'll do that on all three stringers, all three stringers. Boom! I'll put this one here and this one over here because I'm right-handed. It'll be easier for me to attach this rather than on this side. And then this one here, I'll put obviously right there. And this one on this side, because I can get to it easier. Boom. Boom, kaboom, kaboom. So, you know what? That's my next step. Once I get the 2x6 up here like this, then I can cut some little blocks off of the 2x6 going up to here on down and this will actually go up and kind of help support the uh, the stair because that's what this 2x6 is really for right it's to hold that up and the and the the silly thing of these stringers these stringers were were probably 2x12s but your your uh, let's see what they were uh, they, they probably cut it out of 2 by 12 material because that would be 11 inches. But actually, your strength of it is only from the cut down. From the cut down, and that's only 5 inches. That's a little less. Uh, yeah, 5 inches, see? Right, right to the edge of there, 5 and an eighth inches. That's all your holding power is... Your holding power is like a two by six because you've got so many notches in here, and I believe your strength ends or starts from here down. And so, without me having a long two by six up here, that's going to be plenty. And then I'll be able to put some blocks off of that two by six, screw them in there, and push them up here to the the step because that's what that's how the stringers were. You, you cut this and, and this part right here held the, um, the back side of the 4x12 stair tread. Okay, you'll see, you'll see. Just keep watching the videos and it'll all come together for you. Now I'm pondering what to do next. I know I have to get these 2x4s the, the two by six is up here and but before I do that I'm going to take my liquid nail my construction adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and go back over these remember I said I was going to do that see there's a hairline crack on it in this side I didn't get done yet and actually yeah I've got it I've got to do this because this this is pushed right up against the back side of the stucco okay and so it's not nailed in very well so I've got to secure it to the 2x6 by putting construction adhesive along this edge okay so I'm gonna do that next while I ponder this for a minute now you might say how am I gonna figure out that angle the two by six coming up here. Well, because I have this outside column here and this last stringer is close to it, I just held a, a scrap piece of two by six up on the edge of that and ran it, lined it up. How did I do that? Yeah, that, that's what I did. I lined it up. 
and I overlapped, I overlapped it, lined it up on the bottom, and then just scribed it on the back side with my pencil. Held it up there pretty close, and then I cut it, and that gave me an angle. So then I can I can hold that up there as a pattern, and it looked this one looks slightly slightly off. And I checked the I checked the middle one. I, I checked the middle one here. And this one looks right on. And this one here, lining I'm just lining up to the bottom here. And that looks that looks pretty close too. And if anything, this stringer in the middle is, is slightly sagging. See how far this this sticks down? Well, on the on the one on the end, it's right where it's supposed to be. And this one over here is right where it's supposed to be. Well, pretty close. Yeah, about there. Now, could it have been that the last person who who built this um, when they ran their their beam across their their connection across here? Maybe it wasn't perfectly level or whatever. I'm not really going to worry about it. I can't. There's no way I'm going to raise anything. I'm working with existing conditions okay so this one it goes up hey it's fine it's it's not gonna hurt anything and I've got this I've got this one here lined up to the very top or very bottom edge of the 4x12 stair riser and I got the same thing over here okay so I'm good I'm good well, I guess the next thing to do is to hustle up and go down, go down the stairs and get me some two by sixes. And I guess I'll use eight footers. Oh, you know what? First thing I gotta do is I've gotta cut this off. That's right. I gotta cut this off and I'm gonna use my level. It's always nice to have a little level. So I'm gonna use that. And remember, I'm going to cut this one off here, this middle one, because it's all, it's all dry rotted. I want to get all that stuff out of here. So am I going to cut it right where the line is? I could cut it where the line is, you know, right there. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. I can, I can make it, I can make it flush with that, or I can make it beyond it. I think I'm going to make it beyond it. That way it'll be easier to, uh, to cut that off with the, so I'm going to use a skill saw at the bottom and go up as high as I can and then I'll finish off the rest with the sawzall and yes I've got extra blades where are they oh they're upstairs I didn't think I was going to need them so I'm going to have to change my blade because I'm not going to use that metal cutting one I'll use a regular wood one so yes that's my next step to chop this off and that off